So we're given a television camera positioned 400 feet from the base of a rocky launching pad. So this is the camera. This is 4,000 feet. The angle of elevation the camera has to change. So we'll call this the angle of elevation theta. The change in order to keep the rocket in sight. So the rocket, let this be the height of the rocket. And we'll call x the distance between the rocket and the camera. Okay, so for part A, how fast is the distance from the television camera to the rocket changing at that moment? So the distance between the camera and the rocket is x. So we're looking for dx dt. Okay, well first we have a relationship. You know, we can use Pythagorean theorem to say that 4,000 squared plus h squared is equal to x squared. I want the derivative of x with respect to t, so let's take the derivative with respect to t. We get 2h times dh over dt is equal to 2x dx over dt. The 2's cancel, and I'm left with h times dh over dt is x times dx over dt. Okay, let's see where else we're given. So we're assuming the rocket rises vertically and its speed is 600 feet per second. So that's another way of saying dh over dt and it has risen 3,000 feet. So that is h. That's the height of the rocket. Plug that in. And now we can find what, well, we don't know what x is here, do we? Well, we could figure it out because the height is 3,000, so x is 5,000. And the way I was able to do this is this is basically a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this is a Pythagorean triple. If I multiply everything by 1,000, it's the same thing. It's 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Okay, so this is 5,000, and then dx over dt. So I can solve for dx over dt to be 360 feet per second. Okay, so that's part A. For part B, we want to see how fast the cam the camera is, uh, or sorry, how fast is the camera's angle of elevation changing at that moment. So we want a formula in terms of theta. So for that, we're going to use tangent. So we know that tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So let's plug that in here. So tangent theta is opposite h over adjacent, which is 4,000. So I'm going to take the derivative now with respect to t. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. I'm going to multiply theta. Uh, we're going to take the derivative of theta, which is d theta over dt. And the derivative of h with respect to t is 1 times dh over dt. So we we're looking for d theta over dt, but we know that, um, let's see, we know that we have 4,000 secant squared theta d theta over dt is equal to dh over dt. And also tangent theta is three over four by the way. Right, we know tangent theta is 3 over 4 because tangent theta is 3,000 over 4,000. So tangent is 3 over 4. And now we're going to plug in what we know. We know that dh over dt is 600. I want to find what d theta over dt is. And Secant squared, well, I know that tangent is opposite over adjacent, which we said it was 3 over 4. So, also secant squared, 
is 1 plus tangent squared. So tangent squared is 9 over 16. So that will give us 25 over 16 as secant squared. So we'll plug that in here. We have 4,000 times 25 over 16 times d theta over dt is equal to 600. So with some algebra here, we get d theta over dt is equal to 0 .00, sorry, 0 0.096 radians per second. And that's our final answer.